G'day everyone, how you doing? And uh, today we're gonna to be talking about power. What is it that you use yourself to power your equipment when you're out there uh, astro imaging? For me, it is these Thumper battery packs. Now, this is the first Thumper battery pack I purchased probably about eight years ago. 60 amp hour with a uh, 600 watt uh, inverter on top. I use this for a lot of my astrophotography, which you could probably see in a photo. Just, I think I'll just put it right about here. Um, that was quite some time ago with my Celestron C-Gem mount, a uh, Stellaview uh, 115 SVT, I think it was, a William Optics um, 73mm, it was a, uh, a four objective lens um, Scope, absolutely stunning telescope. I am so upset I got rid of that thing. Didn't need a, a field flattener or anything like that. Um, beautiful scope that was. And uh, yeah, I drive out with my HSV Malu Ute out to a, a place over your peninsula set up. And, uh, and yeah, and this is the, uh, the bad boy that would power it. Um, 80 amp power, uh, 60 amp power, I think it was. 80, sorry. Oh, 80 amp hour um, uh, battery pack. However, it is about eight years old, and uh, yeah, it cannot power the twins. So if you've been uh, following my channel for a little while, you would notice in some of my videos that uh, I was really struggling for power there, especially during the uh, the winter months. Um, yeah, so that is why I have upgraded. Now let's move this to the side a bit. Oh, the thing weighs a ton. And now, we have this. Lithium powered thumper battery pack. 72 amp hour. Uh, yep. 72 amp hour. Um, and I absolutely love this thing. It is just so light, um, plenty of uh, uh, power outputs. I've got a uh, 12 volt um, power output here, so basically I can connect up the um, ASI Air uh, directly straight into this if I, if I want to. Um, on the other side, I have a few Anderson plugs here. Now this one here also has a couple of Anderson plugs. Um, so uh, this is where uh, my uh, my twins pretty much get uh, the regulator gets plugged into here um, and the reason i went anderson plug is because i can uh, just unplug the uh, the regulator and plug it into a lot of other anderson plug setups that i've, uh, I've got including the four-wheel drive if i uh, or the jeep uh, if i go out anywhere so um, as we can see here we have uh, usb uh, now in here, which is uh, a pretty handy if I need to charge anything um, USB related like a phone or uh, cameras or anything like that. I've got my 12 volt um, sockets, which I don't really use anymore um, when it comes to Astro. I know a lot of uh, equipment is uh, does have the cigarette lighter, but as I said, it's all on my uh, Anderson plug setup, um, which goes to the Eagle computer, which all the power runs off of that. So uh, yeah, and then I've got the, um, where is it? There it is, the uh, the gauge right here, um, and which I've just been blown away with. I mean, I've been tossing up for a while whether to go lithium or whether to go AGM, um, which is what this is, or whether just to get this repacked, which is about $360 um, for the battery cells uh, to repack this unit here. This here was, uh, it was, it was, it was a bit of money. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Um, but... I, Going lithium, I went, well, that's, that's sort of the direction batteries are sort of going. Um, with the twins, I can really uh, drain them a bit lower and they will recover a lot easier than what the uh, um, AGM batteries uh, do. So I'll just turn that there off. Um, and they, they, they're, just, they're just better overall. Now, this here is showing 13.1 volts. When I bought it, it was at 13.4 volts. I've done two nights of imaging sessions with the twins. 
and that's how much it's dropped. Blown away by this unit, I love it. It is a 72 amp hour, so it is quite powerful um, in that respect, but it is just so much more lighter. It makes things so much easier. I mean, this one here, like, oh, bloody, weighs a ton. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what I've got to, uh, to power my twins. Now, I do have another battery for the uh, little Star Adventure GTI. And that is this guy right here. So it's another little uh, Thumper lithium um, battery pack. Again, on the side, it has a, a port here for the uh, um, ASI air plug to just plug straight into it. I don't have to worry about um, plugging it into uh, a cigarette lighter or a cigarette lighter connector or anything like that. Um, just use the cables that come with the, uh, the ASI air, um, Pro uh, straight into that. Uh, again, it's got a, uh, a USB on it as well, and a cigarette lighter. Weighs nothing. And uh, I've also used this, uh, so I've used the uh, USB uh, connectors to help um, power the, uh, the Genie uh, Mini 2s for uh, my time lapses, which you see in some of my videos. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really um I'm, I'm i just love these lithium um battery packs they're just so light and durable and um long lasting too i mean i haven't had to change uh, charge this at all either and it's been powering the star adventure gti it's been doing my um uh, my little time lapse rig as well and what are we on we are on 13.1 as well so uh, yeah, I I am blown away by lithium batteries. And, uh, I seem to be ranting a bit here. Um, and also, this this version here uh, can also be charged and used as a second battery in my um, my Jeep. So I've got a, a, a um, dual uh, uh, battery type setup uh, in that where um, this battery pack can charge um, while I'm driving, and it will charge really quickly as well. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what to do with old Bertha over here. Um, I think I'm going to uh, take off the, uh, the 600 watt um, inverter, uh, plug that in. I uh, connect that to probably an Anderson plug because I don't want to permanently mount it to um, this this battery pack here. Uh, so I'll just have it as a you know a 600 watt inverter if I need to um, uh, run it. I'll just Anderson plug it into the the side here and then unplug it when I don't need it. Um, so yeah, so far this is doing the trick and it's gonna last me quite a few years. As I said, this thing here lasted me eight years. Eight years, I mean, it's pretty good for a, a 12 volt battery pack uh, system. Um, as I said, it is starting to die. It can't really do the, the big load, um, uh, big heavy lifting like it used to, uh, but it's still capable of probably charging, you know, all my other stuff and, um, don't even know what it's at, at the moment. 12.7 volts. Um, it does hold, still holds charge and everything, but it uh, it just gets uh, just gets smashed. So um, yeah, pretty happy with uh, this is my uh, my new battery pack for the twins, um, and this is the little uh, battery pack for the uh, Star Adventure GTI. So. Yeah, I'd love to know what uh, battery pack system um, you guys use for your system and whether or not it uh, it lasts the whole night, especially on those cold nights when the batteries just drain like crazy. Well, I hope this answers some of your questions in regards to uh, what I've used to power my, um, my Astro rigs. All right, well, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Got any questions, let me know below. And if this is the first video you've seen, Check out some others, and if you enjoy them, don't forget to uh, subscribe. All right, guys, that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you.